I survived 100 days in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and after defeating Marvel Goma on day 60, the biggest adventures of my journey awaited becoming the kingdom's strongest knight. Day 61 already challenged all my strength. Of course it has to go underground right at the skull pond. This can't be good. House of Bones in Akala? Oh no, oh no, what is this? There was no escape. I had to face the style enemies before a style Nox woke up. Oh, what? Half my health in one hit, I can't let myself get hit. Fortunately, I did get hit and managed to defeat it, as its strategy was easy to see through. Get it? Because it's a skeleton? My next destination is Zora's Domain, and I'm currently on my way there in Akala. Here, I still have four very interesting things to do, from which I can even get a few armor pieces. Like here, at the tech lab. Yiga, oh no, it's been taken over by the Yiga. I see it now, Yiga symbols everywhere. Yes, I actually had to free the lab from its attackers. But come on, the Yiga, what can they really- No, I died. Just so that the Giga can have a moment of success too. Out of pity, they even left one of their outfits for me. A bit further at the stable, I met again with Aurelius. My horse, with which I quickly reached the Kala Tower, where the next weirdo was waiting. Kilton's brother, Colton. I hate my name. He sold me the mystic armor. Sheesh. Turn up the swag. On the Akala Sky Islands, not only did I have a cool airplane, but I also found something that looked very familiar. No, that has to be the Death Star. You could call me Link Skywalker. <laughs> Inside there was even a device that shoots something green. No one can tell me that that wasn't intentionally designed that way. Even though I shot the rocket to nothingness. Just like the sky world, Akala also has an underworld. Which surprised me a little. Oh god, what? How can it jump so high? Why can't it jump so high? Why is there a Yiga hideout in this pit? They even have airplanes. I can't get there for now. And if that wasn't enough, I had to face the strongest monster in Akala now. The first line. No. After encountering a Korok named Uvuvuevuevue and Yutuevuevuevue Mugbemosas on day 5, I'm now helping him find his friend Dan. He disappeared in the depths of Korok Forest, teeming with monstrous enemies. I have no choice but to train and get stronger, and this Lionel was the next step in that direction. But with my pockets filled, I longed for a bit of civilization. For that, Terrytown comes just in time. There's a lot going on here, from traders to roller coasters, architects to. A race for you, hold sport. You won't get anything for it. What an unbeatable offer! Of course I had to participate in this race. Yo, let's go! We're grabbing all the lights. Seriously, I have three minutes to collect all the lights? I've already done it. And then the grand prize awaited me. Nothing. On the next day, I set off for Zoro's domain. On the way, this shrine was quite special because these two robots here defeated every enemy for me. I'll call you Barbie and Ken. Barbie and Ken are awesome. And go on adventures with Linko. Nah, we'll never see each other again after the shrine. Arriving at the Zora Tower, I realize the extent of the problem. Everything is covered in mud and the water is yellow? Oh god, I don't want to know what happened there. To clean up this mess, I had to solve a really strange task. I had to shoot a scale through a tear and then a path appears in the sky and this scale is only possessed by King Dorofan who's hiding in a secret palace behind a waterfall? Yo, can I have a scale? Scale? I haven't had scale since I started using the 3-in-1 shampoo from Head & Shoulders. Or was it Pantene? Some generic shampoo brand that I'm neither advertising nor getting paid for. I'm a goddamn fish! But my homie Muzu has one for you. The next day, I managed to shoot the scale through the tier. Even though I literally ran around the island for 30 minutes searching for this damn tier. And the path to the sky was paved. But before the sky, I had to go down first. What is this now again? Ancient Zora Sanctuary? AKA the sewer. Where I had to crawl around and uncover all the pipes to reach the mysteriously glowing center. There are Zora I thing awaited, which actually created a waterfall to the Sky Islands. On top of that, a wild surprise awaited me. I love the bubbling waters. Yo, did you jump really high here? I'm realizing it now. Yo, it's really moon gravity. Yo, so awesome. Am I saying too much if I say this part was really cool? Moon jump combined with these uh, water bubbles is just an awesome combo. The constructs on the way also had enough loot to prepare me for the next big challenge. A flux construct. Just kidding, I naturally took that apart in no time. Easy, you are nothing. Of course I mean the water temple. Something must be missing here, right? It's incredibly small. There's only one single basement. And what else? Huh? There has to be more. This can't be the whole dungeon. It was the whole dungeon. The puzzles weren't really mind-blowing too, and the fact that Sidon was never there when you needed his ability didn't make it any better. Where is he chilling now? Seriously. Sidon. 
Dude, what are you doing up there? Yeah, I didn't have a great time. So, how do I get in here? Oh. That's simple. Besides pretty obvious solutions, I also had to think of it at times. Then I'll take this, put it up here and attach it there. And it goes down and we can go here with Sidon. Okay, number four, one is missing. Then I'll take this here. Why does that even work? Not a tough puzzle, unfortunately. And that is the fifth. What kind of dungeon was that? But wait until you see the boss. No, really? Just some slimy octopus. At least he transforms into a mud shark. I think I need him. And now I have to do this. Hey, stay still. <laughs> Dude, he's just not doing nothing. Man, look how he's running. That was already half the battle. He, he hasn't even attacked yet so far. And guess what? He didn't attack in the second half either. This is the biggest loser I've ever seen. Just like the whole dungeon. But at least someone finally flushed. The water is no longer yellow and everyone is happy. Except for me, because my strength is still not enough. You want to get stronger? Go to Ateno. Someone there can teach you the strike of the one thousand. All right, all right, and I'm off. Of course, heading to Ateno. And on the way, I passed by Mount Loneiru. Had to check that out, of course. On the promenade, there was really nothing new. Or maybe I just didn't see it. But at the base of the mountain, there was no Lionel anymore, but... Oh no, oh no, not these creatures again. Oh god, oh god, are they strong? Oh my god, help! No, 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 no! I thought I could handle them now, but no, no, no! Let me go! Oh my god, these heads are still way too strong. I really didn't expect that. At least there were no dangerous incidents until the peak. Nidra was just flying around there, so I thought I'd say hello. Hello! From there, I could fly up again. Woo! So I reached our favorite task of all, the diving ceremony. Luckily, you can see the line where it should go. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is all very close. And then here, where does it go now? Somewhere down there. And there's the end already. Oh, yes, the glide mask. Look at that, look at that. Bro, that's awesome. With this super air control, Hatina was not even five minutes away. Will I actually find the master of combat here? First of all, everywhere are mushrooms. I know. And a completely new school has been built. No idea what they're learning here. Maybe how to subscribe to YouTube channels? <laughs> <sighs> my home. Bought in Breath of the Wild for 3,000 rupees and now it's my own house. And it looks even better. I even have a well. Wait, what? Zelda's house? I paid 3,000 rupees and now it's Zelda's house? I couldn't believe it. But hey, I found a headman that straight up took Link back to Breath of the Wild. But we still haven't found the mysterious master of combat. So I sought help from an old friend. Friend. Meadow! Do you know where I can find him? Oh, 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 I thought you'd never ask. My name is not Mendo, but Master Mendo, expert in the Fakio Martial Art. Uh. If you want to learn the trike of the thousand points, you must master the three virtues courage, clarity, and strength. First, searching the desert. I couldn't believe it. Meadow was an undercover master of combat all along? Completely blown by the realization, I needed some time for myself at the beach. At least that's what I thought, because arriving at Laurelin, I saw the disaster. Disaster. The village was raided and torn apart by pirates. Phew, let's clean up then. Give me epic music. Oh well, this works too. Oh, how they're getting comboed by my army here. Yeah, yeah, beat them up completely. Beat them up into the water. Yeah, let them drown miserably. Yeah, before they can't do anything. Ah, you're getting punched. Yeah. Are you mace? Cause I'll mace you in the face! Yeah! You're done! And so, we defeated the pirates. Now the village just needs to be rebuilt, but I'll do that some other time. First, I'll head into the jungle, cause there are some new things here too. Right at the lake stable, for example, there's a herd of very strange animals. Oh look, they're having glow- Do they have glowing horns? If I throw a luminous stone out, where is, where is my luminous stone? What happens then? It's going straight for it. I think, I think it wants to eat it. No, you don't? Nobody wants to eat it? No, it's eating it! It's eating the luminous stone! And now, are you, are you going to produce gems now or something? Maybe it this takes a little while. Let's see. For the west at Lake Hylia, I couldn't resist and jumped into the abyss, only to be surprised by a Giga hideout with lasers. But of course, that was no problem for me. A bigger problem was the creature at Hylia Bridge. He's right there. Oh no, oh no, he's doing this attack again. And 
I didn't even get close to him. Perfect. So that pretty much was the end of our expedition to the Gliok. Yeah. So I continued to the desert, more precisely the savanna here where I wanted to get Ganon's horse. Until I realized that it's not here anymore. I guess you can blame me for setting the whole stable on fire afterwards, right? Yes, sorry. It's not It's not a problem if there's fire in your stable. It's all good. But now I finally arrived in the desert and cruised around with this sled that cost me 50 rupees and despawned right after the first try. I think I got ripped off. But apart from inflation, Gerudo has another problem. A massive sandstorm and even more massive Gyptos are attacking the town. After spending about 10 minutes finding it, I found it completely deserted. Luckily, I've always been a great detective and figured out right away that I can jump into a secret underground city behind the throne. So I need to find Riju? Has anyone seen Riju? Anybody? No. no. Somehow I managed to squeeze it out of the residence and locate her in the north ruins. <laughs> Hey, hold back, there's important stuff to do. Like strategically defending Gerudo town from a Gipto attack. Spare fight is here, artillery there, and a blockade here. Let's go. First, all the nests had to be destroyed. We're really in Hyrule Warriors now, huh? Riju is being attacked, no, kill them. Is anyone else coming? That was the last one. We defended against this attack really quickly. Riju, now I need your help. You want to master the virtue of courage? Then hurry to the desert temple. So I did. For days I wandered through the dunes, panting, at the end of my strength, nah, the way was only a few hundred meters, and now I stood in front of it, the desert temple, a gigantic pyramid, but the entrance was blocked by a nest. Oh god, what kind of creature is that? Help! Do I have to fight it now? I thought I'd do the dungeon first and then the boss. The Gipto Queen! Only with Riju's ability to create lightning, you can defeat this beast. If she hadn't been sending tornadoes this whole time, it wouldn't have taken that long. No, 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 not good. I have to reach her somehow. And boom! Now you're not flying anymore. Oh, no, you can still fly. Where are you flying now? I thought we were fighting. The fight was postponed for now and I could enter it. The desert temple. There it is. Whoa, shit. And right from the start, I had to realize what's coming my way. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, no, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Now it's suddenly going down here. What? But there was also an upward path as the dungeon has a total of eight floors. Okay, let's get started. Started then. Here too, there are four modules to find. Oh my god, well, here's the first module already. Hopefully the others won't be that easy to get. Less than a minute later, I was introduced to the pyramid's main mechanic. Oh my god, it's light, it's light. This will help solve many puzzles here. Here I need light. There's light. Like that and over there. Yes, we did it. What a cool temple, man. Okay, two more. The biggest puzzle was this one, where you had to guide a light beam through several mirrors to the target. And now here we've reached this point. This could get a little hot. Yes, we're here, we're down. Let's go, just one more. No, wait, we need light. We need light again? That's how it goes. Two. Even more light. And definitely the biggest room in the whole dungeon. Here a few constructs and Gyptos wanted some action. Then I had a flash of genius and illuminated the solution to the next puzzle. You know, flash of genius because... This was definitely the best dungeon so far. Just look at the walls, how cool is this? But it's time. All terminals are activated and the boss of the pyramid awaits us again. Let's go! There she is again, the Gypto Queen! Ah, oh, this is a boss that looks really gross. This time she even had a total of four Gypto nests with her. But they couldn't stop me either and I could focus on finishing up the Queen. Yes, let's finish her. This will be the final attack. Strike, 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 strike! Yes! The Gipto Queen is down. Really, really good. By far the best boss fight yet. So, Gerudo quest, Gerudo dungeon, the boss just wipes the floor with the others. That's what I've actually wished for in all dungeons. The first of the three virtues, courage, is mastered. And the next, clarity, I'm supposed to learn in the castle. But I still had something very important to do. Over the almost 100 days, I've seen almost all of Zelda's memories of her journey into the past. Except for this one, where Roru's sister Tobio warns us against swallowing a mystery stone, cause otherwise you'll turn into a dragon forever. Kinda sus that this dragon is passing by now, of all times? No, wait, 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 wait. is that the master sword on top of her? The last tier in Akala was waiting for me and what's coming now I still haven't fully processed. Why does exactly this dragon have the Master Sword? Another memory? To swallow a secret stone 
is to become an immortal dragon. Don't tell me she actually swallowed him. Please, no. No, no, please, please don't swallow him. No, 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 what did one else? Protect them all! What the f- What? No matter how many times I watch this cutscene, I still get goosebumps. No. No. Oh my god, what, what, what? I'm deeply disturbed. This can't be true, right? I mean, I'll climb up now to Zelda and pull the Master Sword, because, oh my god, what? I would have never expected this. This is Zelda right here before us. And there is the sword. Oh, this time it's about stamina and hearts. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How much do you need now? Oh, I think that's it. Oh. <sighs> Oh my god. Still completely out of it, I had to focus on my goals. Learning the next virtue in Hyrule Castle. Just getting up here was a challenge in itself. And then Zelda, who shouldn't even be here, just stood in the middle of the room. I knew I had to keep my clarity here. Fake Zelda just couldn't stop playing her games and chased me all over the castle. And kept disappearing until eventually... <laughs> Phantom Ganon. Okay, we're in a boss fight. That's not good. Let's go, get up there. We're gonna take him down. Yeah, and the next one is down. Let's go. Now, whoa, what was he doing now? Was that going to be my friend? Oh, he's putting himself to me. Come on, we nearly have it. No, one more hit. That's it, we got him! But it wasn't over yet. Ganondorf went berserk. I have to stop him. Can I save Dom and all of Hyrule in the next and final episode? <laughs>